regulators. We regulate all the steel around this block and you know we damn good too. That's it. What's the next part? <laughs> Uh, every time you teach, you learn something yourself, you know, it's when you try to break down something in understandable terms to somebody who's less experienced, um, it forces you to really think about what that thing is and how well you really know it yourself. So in that way, it's almost sort of a selfish thing, I guess you could say, is teaching kind of forces you to be on your game all the time. Uh, so that's definitely an element of it. But the other part of it is that, you know, music is awesome, and if you don't, you know, uh, play a part in continuing it and making sure that everybody that's coming up that's starting to play understands it and loves it and sees why it's so incredible, then, you know, people will start to forget about that. So it's sort of, um, it's, you know, being a musician really is like um, being a part of a tradition of a long line of people who have been playing and making music, at least that's the way I look at it. And so you, it's important to sort of carry the torture and pass it to people that are younger than you, you know. Uh, probably my favorite moment was when I got to play on National Public Radio with a banjo player named Bela Fleck. Really awesome musician. And it was a huge role model of mine, always, ever since day one. Uh, so to play with him was incredible, uh, let alone to play with him on National Public Radio. I was really nervous, but it was awesome. Uh, so that, that was probably it. Well, I like Bela Fleck. I like a bass player named Edgar Meyer. Uh, he, he does a lot of stuff um, sort of fusing classical music with bluegrass, which is really amazing to me. Um, I love Michael Jackson. He's probably my favorite, period. I think he's just incredible. Um, I love, I've actually been listening to a lot of house music recently. Uh, I really like Junior Vasquez, who's a DJ, uh, and another DJ named Abel. Um, so that's been sort of what I'm listening to recently. Uh, Stevie Wonder is a huge influence, massive. Uh, I like the Punch Brothers. They're like another um, bluegrass, sort of bluegrass band, but uh, doing a lot of really innovative stuff with, with music. Um, and incredible musicians. And then my friends, I think. Uh, one of my friends, Evan Shinners, who's a piano player that I went to college with, a violin player named Charles Yang that I went to college with, and another piano player named John Batiste. And those three guys are probably my biggest musical role models just because we all play together and they're all incredibly talented and we sort of all push each other and drive each other along. But yeah, okay, so the, the, the short answer is Michael Jackson, Edgar Meyer, and my three friends from college. There are so many, it's insane. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, if a friend is playing, that's always what, if I'm not playing on a night, then I'll always go check out a friend's group. Um, you know, and most of those take place in like smaller clubs, like jazz clubs or rock venues. Um, so those are good shows just because you always see people that you know and like. Uh, I, I try to play all the time. You know, if I don't have a concert, I like to just call people over to my house and we sit around in the living room and make music. I have a piano in my living room and we just play and hang out. Kind of like this. <laughs> uh, I also really, really like to go to dance clubs. That's a new thing. Uh, I'm writing a musical that takes place in a dance club and it uses all like electronic house music to tell the story. Uh, and so through that, I've actually learned a lot about that culture. I knew nothing about it prior to that. And it's incredible. You know, before I would always just listen to it and think, oh, this is just so, rep like, this is the same beat over and over again. Like, what does this music mean? But then once I actually experienced it and, you know, stayed up all night dancing one time, it's incredible. And then I really started to get it, you know. So that's, I've been doing that a lot. Like the last couple months, I try to go out every other week to a new club to hear a DJ and dance, you know. Uh, Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, I like both of them. I think they rock. Um, I think, uh, let's see, 
Definitely those two. Um, oh, Bonnie Raitt. She's awesome. I was just listening to her the other day for the first time in a long time. She's incredible. Um, I like Annie Lennox. She's got an incredible voice, and I like a lot of her songs. Uh, Nora Jones is a great singer. She's awesome. My goals for 2012 as an artist and an educator uh, would be to continue to open people's mind about music and um, show them how limitless it is and how paper thin these genre walls really are.